Here we go, guys. Solid neat. Solid fixes right here. We're back in the boiler room. It's not the place I want to be on, well, I guess it's Christmas morning. It's December 25th, 2 a.m. And this thing just keeps on giving me trouble. You guys might say, well, what the hell are you doing out here? Well, trust me, I wouldn't be out here. But the damn boiler was just literally turned off. I was at my events. I've been getting texts all night saying, hey, the, the heat does not work. And so I was like, oh, shit, I guess i got to cut my Christmas festivity short. Come home and look at it. So here we are. We've had a long night already, actually. Uh, the first thing was, is this bleeder up here, well, it's not what I used to have on, but what I had on is something similar to this. Here, hold on a second. We had an automatic bleeder, see? This isn't the one I had on, but it was something like it. That's an old part. I'm not, I'm not using that one anymore. We put on a manual bleeder and drained the system out and filled it up with new water all while manually bleeding out the oxygen the best I could. And it seemed like I did a great job with it. Pressure was about 20. The heater cycled on and off various times. Um, I did discover, though, that this temperature gauge is completely out of whack. It just literally does not work. It's a piece of shit. And then I changed the, uh, well, I wish I had a light, but I changed the automatic, I should say the, the emergency shutoff valve also. I decreased that. <sighs> and I'm just troubleshooting this fucker <laughs> is what I'm doing here. So here's another picture of it. We put on that tank recently. There was a problem with... Ooh, shit. Oh, yeah, that's just air. Don't worry, just air. But, um, anyways, the reason I came out, though, the heater was not blowing out any hot air. And the low water cutoff switch was going crazy. It said low water and cutoff. The pressure was at zero. It's like, okay, well, guess, guess what that means, guys. There's a leak in this system somewhere. Uh, and unfortunately what that means is I'm gonna have to go into every single one of these units you know I don't I don't own them all <laughs> so I'm gonna have to bust into these people's house and I'm gonna have to see where there's a leak in this system because the pressure would not just go to zero if there was not a leak so there is a leak and this will warm up for a little bit you know but I'm surprised like it's a little bit surprising that, you know, the water is so far staying in here. Um, the pressure is st staying very constant at, you know, 20. So I don't know, man. I will update you if I figure out what's going on here. But I th there's, there's definitely a leak. There has to be a leak somewhere. Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later.